Good morning, everybody. This is Sherry Ann with Yarning with Mimi. Welcome back. Or maybe I should say welcome back to me. I have been missing in action for a couple of months, but I'm going to explain why. Uh, welcome to my podcast, Yarning with Mimi, which is what my grandchildren call me. See my cat right there? Let me see. That's my naked cat. Um, I'm coming to you from Harlingen, Texas, and it is hot and muggy still. I know we're almost hitting November and we're still up in the 90s, but we had a couple of days where it dipped down in the 60s, which felt really nice. Anyways, this is episode 26. Like I say, I have been um, off uh, YouTube for a couple of months. I moved yet again. So that's one of the reasons why I've been uh, busy uh, reorganizing and um, I moved into from my small apartment to a house with my daughter. We are sharing everything half and half, which is a big help. And this is a three bedroom house. It's got three and a half bathrooms. It has, so I have my own bedroom, of course, which I have a little yarn nook, as you can see. And um, I uh, have a little uh, room off the off of the kitchen, which is all windows. Is it ever nice? And that's my yarn room. So I got a new chair in there, but we're not in the yarn room right now. Anyway, so that's one of the reasons why I haven't been on uh, YouTube. And the other reason is my computer uh, that I, my laptop that I used to use uh, broke somehow. It just won't, uh, it, it, it won't turn on and uh, we haven't quite figured out what's wrong with it. So I had to wait until I could get another laptop. So I'm trying this and hoping this is working. I did a little clip just to see how it looks and it looks like everything is reversed in the clip. So what's on my right-hand side when I'm re reviewing it, it's all on my left-hand side. So things might be a little backwards. Anyway, so um, please, if you want to reach out to me, I do have an email, yarningwithmimi at gmail.com. Uh, I have been getting a couple of emails from people, which is really nice. I do like that. And um, I do have an Instagram, which I'm not real active on, but I'm going to start trying to get more active on YouTube and on my, on my Instagram. I uh, <clears throat> really want to uh, start trying to be much better at recording at least every two weeks, if, if I can possibly do that. So my last episode, I have notes because there's so much I want to remember to tell you. My last episode was back in August. And like I said, lots has happened since then. So um, the move is really nice. It's from the small apartment to an over 2000 square foot house. So that was really nice. And then um, so I'm going to give you an update on Mimi's Kindness. Mimi's Kindness is my very small nonprofit um, organization that I formed a few years back. It is registered with the state of Texas, and I do a lot of uh, charity work for various organizations. So um, I don't have a whole lot to show you because I've, I've made a lot and I've completed a lot, but it's all been given away or gifted out. So as you know, I have been working on hats for the school district. Well, I've got two of those great big uh, Ziploc baggies filled. I have 100 hats in each bag. So I have, I actually have over 200 hats made ready to donate, but um, I only have 200 of them packed in bags right now. So I put 100 per bag. Um, I made a bunch of uh, pumpkin drawstring baggies for the activity director at work, she had a fall uh, craft fair, and so I made a I made twelve uh, baggies for her. I'm going to show you one in a little bit because I made some more for my daughter. I made twelve for her so she could sell and uh, keep the money. She was having a fundraiser. 
uh, keep the money for, uh, I think it's the residents Halloween party, um, that they're going to be putting on for the residents at work. And then, um, I made some cute little, I don't have any of these to show because I already gave them away. Cute little pins about yay big, uh, about two inches big, I guess, maybe a little bigger. I crocheted ghosts and pumpkins and hot glue gunned, uh, googly eyes on them and uh, a pin on the back were they ever cute <laughs> they look super duper cute i think she sold each of those for i think i made like 19 of those and i think she was able to get a dollar for a pin and the pumpkin drawstring bag um i got the pattern from jada in stitches so i'll show you that in a little bit and then the little pumpkin and ghost pins um, from Happy Berry Crochet. Then we had a co-worker or have a co-worker who uh, is now on maternity leave. She had her baby, but I made her a bunch of stuff, a hoodie with um, sock monkey buttons, and that turned out really cute. One sweater and beanie set. I made her three. She wanted the cocoons, so I made her three cocoon and beanie sets. And the cocoon pattern, I, I know they're really pretty much um, all the same, but this cocoon pattern, it was very simple, and it came from cre crochet, cook, and create. And then I made an extra beanie camel. I'm still helping out with the pink slipper project, but I haven't been able to uh, get anything mailed off in the last little while. So, um I might be putting that on hold because I have another project that's coming up that I, I need to work on. And I'll tell you about that. And then for the Pregnancy Resource Center, I've been making little sweater sets. Here's, here's one. It's camo. It's a little boy sweater set. And that is a pattern from... Uh, Mikey with the crochet crowd. It's just called baby. I think it's called baby jacket. Uh, so it's really cute and, and um, whips up real fast and it has a matching beanie. Okay, so I'm going to put you on pause and go get a few things and then I'll be back. 